Folks, I am here game hunting at the Peddler's Mall today. Not a location that I normally frequent, but on this channel, we believe opportunity is everywhere. So I'm poking my head around, seeing if I can find any games. And later in the video, we're going to meet up again with my good friend, Tim, who I recently spent $3,000 with buying a ton of games. And we're going to see if he has more stuff to sell us because he actually has a booth here that he might let us in behind the scenes on. Oh, and look at this, folks. We've got our first sign of games over here. We've got a good number of kids DVDs and stuff over here, even some brand new sealed ones. There's definitely a lot of opportunity in DVDs, but what I'm primarily concerned with is this stuff up here. Unfortunately, it is looking pretty dang picked through. Well, SmackDown vs. Raw 06, five bucks. Oh, it is the uh, replacement artwork, the Hollywood video artwork. So I couldn't even sell this in very good condition. I'll probably pass on that, but definitely keep an eye out for wrestling games when you guys are uh, out on the hunt. Uh, some Just Dance Disney games can do okay too. I don't think that this is one if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, nothing, no gems hidden in the back there. So we'll pass on this stuff. Okay, this is actually very interesting as well. Brand new sealed board games do really well on Amazon, especially check this out, the Disney edition. Uh, $63 is kind of high on that, but I'm gonna look that up and see what it looks like. Okay, so looks like it does go for higher on Amazon. 97 bucks before fees are 77 after, so we would be making a bit of money, about $15, but that's just not really the kind of margins that I look for, and the sales rank on it is a little bit high, meaning it would sell slow. I seriously mean it though, people, when I say that whatever your niche is, whether it's like sports cards, like just, we saw some sports cards here, but if you're flipping sports equipment or action figures or vintage tees, like you could probably come to flea markets like this, look at every single booth, look up each item in that category that you find and find good stuff to flip online. This stuff really is just everywhere. And look what I just spied, this lonely little Plants vs. Zombies sitting here on this desk all by himself. Oh, I see five bucks on that. Yeah, I'm sorry, man, but you're gonna, you're gonna probably die alone at that price. Oh, look what I just found. It's Boo. Does that mean that this booth, there's some more? Oh, oh no way. What the heck is this? Wow, that is like the lowest quality, thinnest sweatshirt I've ever seen, but who can deny this Pikachu design? Holy cow. So that must mean there's some more video game stuff in here. Oh my gosh. Look at this guy. A oh, Hercules foam phone? I'm a huge Hercules dude. Wow. I feel like retro Rick up in here just geeking out about nostalgic items. I gotta, I gotta keep my eye on the prize here. Hey, I don't know if you guys know this, but... Phoenix Resale is actually a jerk. Ooh, we got a Guitar Hero. Ooh, God of Rock. That's pretty cool. Six bucks doesn't seem bad on that. And check this out. I've stumbled into this little vintage t-shirt and clothing section here. A bunch of super cool stuff. And what do I see on the wall? Our man Pooh up there. Let's go. That thing looks like it'd be super baggy on me. Otherwise, I'd totally pick it up for 18 bucks. Oh, bother. Oh, and check this out, folks. A Nintendo Switch at a Peddler's Mall? Well, at $275, I guess I understand why it's still there, but dang, you do not see that every day. And folks, we have arrived to the video game section of this flea market, all of which is owned by our friend Tim who's willing to hook us up with some bulk discounts, which is always what I like to hear. What are some of the things that I'm seeing here at first glance in this case? Well, uh, we've got a GameCube for 100, but with an original controller, that's actually a pretty decent price. I'm considering maybe doing that. Also seeing, what is that, seven copies of Mario Tennis on the Wii U? We'll definitely have to look that one up. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm seeing any GameCube games in here. Oh, we got some Switch stuff over here, which I actually may end up making a little bit of a play on. Yeah, a good amount of stuff in here that I haven't seen. The biggest things that I'm looking for is like the higher dollar titles. Oh, and I think we actually might, yeah, look at this. All kinds of stuff over here as well. What is that? Sony Electronic Sketch Pad. I've never seen one of those. We're gonna have to get that out for sure. PS1 stuff I'll definitely take a look at as well. And some cartridge stuff over here. Sweet.
So what I'm looking to do at this point is I've pulled pretty much everything as you guys can see that's in like the mid kind of range. There really weren't any higher end games that I saw in this batch. I think I bought most of them last time. But I'm gonna go through and scan all of these on Amazon and see which ones after the like 25 to 30% discount that he normally gives us, which ones I can make at least that like 25 to 30% on. So I'll give you guys an example of what I'm looking at here when I'm splitting stuff into my don't take and take piles. It's the Amazon seller app and I'm looking at the used prices. So this one, the lowest used price is $25, which means that after fees, I can get around 17. I don't know if you guys can see that. So given that for this one, I'm paying 15 before the discount, that one, there'll be enough meat left on the bone for me to still make some money after my purchase cost. People, I want you to look at this one, Green Day Rock Band, because I know that there are gonna be some excuse makers out there, okay? And that's not what we're about on this channel. They'll say, Caleb, you have the personal connection. No one else can do what you're doing because you're getting a discount that no one else has access to. Well, look at this, Green Day Rock Band, $13, right, sticker. And on Amazon, after fees, the very lowest listed one, $29 after fees, more than doubling your money on this bad boy. Hello, I like money. And I just, do you want you to like, do you guys realize that there are a lot of folks out there that don't make $16 in an hour, in an hour of working, and with no connections whatsoever, you could have made it, anyone could have, by coming in here, if they have an Amazon seller account, they're engaged in video games, blah, blah, blah. I know, okay, I get it, guys. $16 on this thing, I mean. Opportunities everywhere, what can I say? So guys, I was just about to put these guys away. They were in my no pile and Tim came over. He's hard at work over there, by the way, on his other booth. And he was like, dude, I don't want you putting anything back. I'm looking to sell stuff today. So he was like, how about just like 50 bucks for this whole stack? And these three alone are about $50. So he's he's basically throwing these guys in for free. So I was like, you know what? That's totally fine. We do enough business together. Let's, let's go ahead and run that. So here are our full current stacks at this point. Let's go ahead and move on to case number two here. All right, folks, well, I don't wanna brag as I am literally sitting on the floor of a flea market here, <laughs> but my uh, prediction rate was pretty good on these. These guys are the only ones that I'm probably going to end up passing on. I really, I just, <laughs> I know Tim, I know you want me to buy these, but I, I just, I honestly probably shouldn't have scanned them. I was just more curious than anything. Uh, on these ones though, I love buying complete DS games. Uh, so I'll go ahead and pick all three of those up. And then this stack of Xbox stuff as well, and one little PS, PS2 game in there should all do fairly well. Obi-Wan, I'm not gonna say it, I'm not gonna say it, I'm not gonna say it. Okay, yes, I am going to say it. Because of the new series coming out, has seen a solid jump in price, so definitely be on the lookout for that one. Digimon was just a good price. Wild Arms 3 is a classic. Dragon Ball Z Burst Limit, uh, that was just honestly a solid price on that. You'd probably pay like at least 12 at a game store. Family Guy is another similar one to uh, The Simpsons. And Fist of the North Star, a little bit of a slower seller, but I think I can make it work. All right, folks, we're on a little bit of a time limit right now because Tim has to head out soon. But the last thing I wanted to check out was this PlayStation section here. Uh, looks like mostly lower end stuff, but I think I see a couple that I may end up picking up. And folks here, for the sake of efficiency, I'm gonna take a little bit of a risk and I'm not, I'm just gonna go on gut instinct for these. I'm not gonna look them up. A little bit of a, little bit of a memory task. So here the ones that I picked out were uh, Tomb Raider 2, Tomb Raider 3. I feel like at least one of those normally does well for me. Uh, Atlantis, you guys know, I'm just a sucker for Disney PlayStation stuff. Spider-Man 2, I just have a good feeling about, I don't know. All of these are complete, so that helps a lot. And then Harry Potter Sorcerer's Stone, I know is one that I've flipped before. Bubsy 1 and 2 on the Super Nintendo. And then, I don't know, you guys can let me know if you see anything that I'm really missing in this Super Nintendo section that might be a little underpriced or there might be some opportunity. Who knows, maybe I will snatch them up next time I'm in town. And folks, you guys know, this is the thing that caught my eye earlier. Has anyone ever seen one of these things? I thought that this was like a PlayStation thing, but it looks like it's just kind of an independent accessory. Who had one of those as a kid? Was that one of you guys? Let me know in the comments if it was you. <laughs> That's super cool though, man. Thank you for showing me. I, uh, I don't think so. I 
think I think that's probably not for me. I think I think that's probably not for me. All right, folks. So total on all this stuff we're checking out here, 371 even for everything that we have found. Thanks again a bunch to Tim for hooking us up, and I'm pretty, I don't know about you guys, I'm pretty stoked about this uh, little bundle here. All right, folks, so we are back home now. I went ahead and calculated everything, what we spent and what we are expected to make on this whole lot. I did wanna say for those of you who are newer to the channel and may not know really what we're all about, the reason that I'm going on and on about prices and flipping stuff and how much we're going to make is not to be braggy or obnoxious or try to flex on folks. It's that uh, if you're new to the channel, you may not know, I started this business in 2018 after getting fired from my job twice. Started the business with five 500 bucks and have just come so far since then. I'm just so grateful and love sharing with people that like, you know, the kind of stuff that can ultimately happen with your business if you really do have that no excuse mentality. And our grand total expected after fees profit of the day is going to be Editor Riff. Can I get a drum roll please? and ten dollars which if you ask me is not too bad for an afternoon of sitting on a dirty flea market floor scanning games if you enjoyed this video i'm gonna go ahead and link another flea market video right here for your enjoyment thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you guys on the flip